Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And yes, the botting situation that basically everyone's pretty aware of it these days. Uh, it just keeps getting worse and worse. And as you've seen, we have covered this extensively for over a year now of just botting, getting brutal, getting worse. And it's just, bot, you know, bots getting the top ranks at mercenaries back in the day. It's crazy. We're going to take a look at the numbers, legend stuff, and what you can do to help. If anything, Blizzard needs to step it up and all that. But anyways, we'll go into all that. If you've enjoyed the content on the channel, if you like, I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like. It helps us out a lot as we're on the road to 80,000 subscribers. So, uh, HearthstoneDex.net, uh, Neon31, it's his site there, posted an article that really puts things into perspective of how crazy the botting situation is getting. He put an article together. It'll be linked in the description below if you want to take a look. And also, I use a site all the time to grab standard, um, particular wild deck lists. Uh, Duel's a great resource, but that's going away in April. But shout out to the uh, to Beyond, uh, or use a site all the time. Anyways, he put out an article of how many players reach Legend and Hearthstone. Update 2024. And uh, he said, thanks to an update in the Hearthstone leaderboard, we could finally see the amount, total amount of Legend players officially confirmed by Blizzard. This post also includes unofficial data from 2020, so like four years ago now. It's been four years, my goodness. My time flies way too fast uh, to compare the numbers. So how many players reach Legend? Well, if you take a look at this graph, you're gonna see some pretty uh, jarring, very jarring numbers here, right? So this goes, this is back to October, 2022. And you can see the numbers were pretty consistent for most servers. It's like, you know, 20,000 or so, never really above that for like, until, you know, uh, mercenaries, <laughs> basically November, 2030, it, start, it started a little bit before that, but when the mercenaries XP, when they nerf the XP you can get by AFKing um, mercenary fights, things went out of control because people were just manipulating that, abusing that uh, to gain XP, gain rewards. It wasn't bothering other players. It was done in solo content. But once that was taken away, these people that mass bought, like they do, they mass bought. I don't know how many there are out there, but they have like tons of bots working all together and that they could eventually sell off for like dirt sheet, but it all adds up, right? And um, that's what they do. And that has been a problem. It was a problem back on the Chinese servers before they got shut down uh, in December of 2023. And that problem is kind of carried over over time to our whole servers. Because if you're not aware of like the Chinese servers were their own independent thing. We didn't interact with them. Uh, it was run by like, like NetEase or whatever company. It was completely independent. So their accounts were all lost. They come over here and mass botting has ensued. I'm not saying it's all Chinese players players or it's all being bought by the Chinese community, but there is some correlation to that and they were having issues on their servers beforehand. And as you can see, the numbers have gotten so out of control and is there going to be any end in sight? You could see that October 2023, there was like, what, 25,000, approximately 30,000 legends on the uh, America Pacific region or server. November 2023, we get up to about 40,000. Uh, the end of December, we're nearing 100,000. And by the end of uh, January, we eclipse 160 thousand legends and it's not like the game's blowing up over there uh if you take a look at the leaderboards in particular uh we can see right now even right now right now this month there's only 400 legends um in the americas uh europe there's only 667 legends asia pacific already 3200 that like that's nutty and you take a look at season one two three it ended with 165,000. 845 and if you go to the bottom you typically see just a bunch of battle net generated names so two two names to uh both with exclamation marks they just battle net generate the names and just run the bot and there's so many bots playing against each other uh they eventually get there as well as just anybody else that's playing gets to farm it. We're gonna look at the numbers. It is ridiculous. The numbers that players have from Diamond 5 to Legend 
it is like the win rates are just free and also anyways so you just look at the numbers it is just ridiculous um everything's completely out of whack and it, it just all comes down to the asia pacific standard server like things have been bad being bonded and wild with all the even shamans that's dwarfed in comparison to this and if you play wild with all the even shaman bots there you can just imagine how bad this situation is and it actually looks like people aren't starting new bots so much in wild as the number of legends went up 70 percent in standard just last month because of this in wild there's a tiny little decrease because they're not like pumping the bots into wild as much anymore they're still there whatever they have set up but it, it's really really brutal and my god look at that decline in twist legends oh wait they shut it down for some reason so these numbers are quite jarring. They're they're pretty crazy. So much so that Rarin's taken notice of this. Uh, I don't know if he's uploaded a video on this yet, but he did losing a game equals de delete my Hearthstone account. Basically, Rarin just started a new account on Asia Pacific and literally only faced bots. He only faced bots, I believe, until Platinum. Um, like, and the stream lasted over five and a half hours. He didn't face a single human player. And then I believe the first human player he faced he lost to because he's roaring. But yeah, like I'm sure I'll have a video highlighting that. And then Corbett had a uh, had a Twitter thread that was also pretty eye opening, talking about the stats of everything. You guys want to see something neat with the bots? I'll link this Twitter thread down below. Again, again, we shout out Corbett just a couple days ago. He's doing some good work. Give him a follow if you're over there on the Twitter. Um, here's the current HS replay meta tab for the America servers for Upper Diamond post patch. Seems normal, and he's just showing this is Diamond four through one. This is on the Americas looks pretty normal right yeah i agree here's the same thing for eu yeah looks pretty normal i agree as well and then you get to asia pacific and he says people are just farming the expletive out of the bots and look at this look at these win rates against these bots sludge warlock 77 percent win rate out of control clickbait what's going on it's so crazy and um he also says elsewhere look at how uh paladin deck has performed this season at diamond four a uh, one he said on eu or america's it was 59 percent eu 58 percent on the asia pacific server <laughs> mining paladin 81 percent deck win rate over 12 000 games it's not a small sample size through that diamond four because it's just bots and they basically uh play this list right or not this this is the even shaman list in wild um it's an even death knight uh like free deck that they play and it costs zero dust it's super easy for them to set up and then they could sell it whether it's the players playing on the regular ladder or if you take a look at the arena leaderboards and you take a look at the bottom of it oh look at all these 0 0.07 0 0.07 you have battle net names you have the uh barcode we like to call them names of pure gibberish that they're just botted accounts and these are where they're sold they sell them with all these resources all these gold and then these players take them re-roll them in arena until they get a god draft and then apparently it's a big thing uh streaming in china to play these god decks viewers will give decks give accounts to their favorite streamer to play it and watch them beat up on people and it's something i just don't get it's like watching like lebron james at his prime go down to like an elementary school basketball team and just beat the crap out of them like i guess it would be funny but to watch that over and over and so many people do it it's a crazy thing and it's not just uh done for this arena purpose but you could see yeah to get these averages in arena you have to have played 30 runs so these are mostly just people that have retired 30 runs and then played that one run that was broken right so there are people that use it to to farm and sell these accounts for people to play in the arena and then there's some people that just sell the account for them to play i guess on regular ladder and you know they can kind of skip the process of having to buy packs which I guess, you know, after you've been kicked out of your home server, your home, all of that, you're like, I don't want to have to spend money again on this game. You kind of understand that difficulty. And again, the last update we had on the whole botting situation in Hearthstone was on um, the end of year update on December 23rd, which had said uh, like over what, 284,000 total accounts have been banned. Well, if you take a look again on the uh, Asia Pacific server, if we say like, 
probably the majority of these accounts are bots that are eventually getting to legend because I just can't imagine the game's blown up that much. That one month that they ban, or the or was it multi period that they ban people over or accounts doesn't even sniff, doesn't make a, a dent. Like they're, they're, this is so bad and so out of control that it's only going to get worse by the looks of it before it gets better. And Blizzard's going to have to do something or else their player base is just going to be facing bots everywhere. Because if you go to the Hearthstone subreddit, that's all it's about. The only way to really avoid the bot situation right now is to just be a really high ranked player because the bots can't get to high MMR. Other than that, you're gonna be facing a ton of bots and that's even with Blizzard taking their own bots that they were putting in to help a new player process completely out of ranked. They're only an apprentice. This is purely third party and it is a massive problem. The only thing again that I know I, I can recommend here for you guys is if you, uh, you go to their options report you go to cheating, you go to next or report that it's a bot. Apparently it helps, but at the end of the day, I, I don't know how much help that's going to be. So Blizzard, you got to step it up. The game's not like dying or anything. You don't need this influx of stuff. It's making the game an awful experience. And uh, let's hope that somehow this gets better sooner than later. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. I'm sorry, Bear Bear. And stay salty, my friends. <laughs>